Hello, this is a, uh, a video about installing electronic navigational charts, ENCs, from NOAA into QTVLM. As uh, I believe many people are aware, uh, the paper charts, traditional nautical paper charts, are going away. Uh, this is May something, mid-May. 24. There's about 200 paper charts left out of the 1,200 or so that existed in 2019, and these will all be gone in about uh, at the end uh, in about six months from now, and there'll be nothing but the ENCs. And so many people are recognizing the importance of that and developing convenient ways to load the charts into the navigation programs. Um, QTVLM happens to have one of the very best uh, one of the very best systems possible for doing that, the quickest and the and the easiest. And that I want to demonstrate that process here. And uh, let me just start by saying I well I do actually have some charts loaded here, and we'll see that in a moment. But let's just say I want to look at Galveston. We have some friends that teach in Galveston Bay, and in fact. Let's just look here. Let's just say I wanted to know the charts in this area here. So what you could do is you could either hit this button up here, this select button, and draw this like, oh, I didn't I do it. Select that, and then, and then draw this like that, escape. Or you could just hold the shift key down and draw that. And, say, and so I want to know, I want to, in, I want to see what charts are there and what and, and and download them now in that area and i've defined the area i want which is one of the unique nice features that uh, that qtvlm has and so then you just right click and you can say install or update charts so then what it does is it goes online to noaa actually quite a few charts there in that block that i just did let's see if i can make this bigger uh, oh yeah, and then once th so then it's just displayed all the charts that are in that area, and then you can let's see, and this is the status status not installed. So I have none of these installed. I could install any any number of them, but you can also look at the charts according to scale. Here's the scale. One of these are obviously an o all the Gulf of Mexico. And then you can see when the latest edition was and so forth. So if I want to install, let me go, let me just cancel that. Uh, and of course, you have, to be, you have to be online for that. Let me cancel that. Well, let me just drag in here and just get a little bit smaller region. They say something like that. And then right click and uh, install the charts. So what that did, when, when, as soon as you did that, and you have to be online, what that did was it went online to NOAA and downloaded an index, not just for that region, actually, but for all the charts they make. In that region, we, we learn that there's 33 charts and none are installed. If I wanted to install those, I could just say, uh, I could choose the ones that are outdated when none are outdated, or I could just say all, like that, and then just say install and then about to install 33 charts. That would, and, that, and that's doing that. And let's just let that run to see how long it takes. What, uh, but you can also, while you're, do, uh, not while you're doing that, but well, maybe while you're doing that, we could look at what the options are. That's how long that took. Now, look, it reports these as all installed. And so there's, that's done then. That's how long that took. I could say, okay, now it's gonna build the chart index. Now these charts are there. I have to go up here and turn on vector charts. Uh, do I have any groups assigned? No, there's all the vector charts of this area uh, that's here. And then let me just here, I'm on a PC. I'm not too, com I wanna turn on the chart, chart outlines. Okay, here's a chart, whoops, okay. That's the chart outlines. And so you see here then are the outlines that are there. Uh, let's look at those outlines. So the way the outlines work, the way the outlines work here is that the, the ones that are on top are the blue chart. So there's one big blue chart covering everything. And then these ones with the red labels are, um, they are all, um, underneath this, totally uncovered. And there's a very neat 
neat uh, option here. I can right click, say, oh, let me just mention something. You see these uh, real nice little square objects like that, the, the nice organized rectangles as opposed to this type of shape and things like that. These are the rescheme DNC. So if I, if I can right click here, for example, here's another super nice feature, and ask for, uh, uh, let's see, where is it? Wait a minute. Move up here. I'm moving here. Right click. Chart. Show charts. Charts at this position. Right there. Now, then what it does is it's gone in there and at that point and just shows you every chart that's there at that position. And then you can choose, you know, which one you want to look at. And uh, it would show it if I choose this one and then click it. I can either show only that chart or I can zoom in you know, zoom into that scale and start seeing these, uh, the buoys and so forth. These buoys all have what's called a minimum scale. So now each of these blue charts, he, these are now charts side by side, the, uh, the um, re-schemed charts. So these are not, nobody's overlaying anybody here. These are actually, this is one chart. If I click here, chart information, chart information, that's this chart, uh, has that number. And then if I go over here and click, oh, cancel, close that one, and click here, then that's this chart over here, chart information. Then that's that number, like that. So that's, uh, that's the charts. Now, let me, let's go back. Let me just show another thing. I'm going to zoom out here a little bit. And there's various ways to zoom out. But let, let me just push this button here, which is the whole world here. And then I'm going to come back up here to... Um, I have charts loaded up here. You know, you see the red, they're all covered up. But, and I'm looking at, these are charts we've loaded for our area up here. But if I go up into this area here, like this part of Puget Sound, and then I'm putting the shift key down and drawing this box here like that, and then I right click and say install or update. So it's going in there and showing all the charts that are in that box that I drew. And of them, you see, uh, let me see, status. You see I've got three, these are all that are installed. There's nine installed, it's down at the bottom. Nine installed or six outdated. And so if I wanna take this, this guy's outdated, let's say I wanna update, let's just say I wanna update all the charts that are outdated. So I took all outdated, it's picked that, and then I say update, like that, about to update, yeah, that's like that. So. That, that's the way that's worked. And that's how long it took. It updated all those charts. So it's not doing this check automatically, but you can, all you have to do is just anywhere you're working, if you want to be sure you've got the right charts, any, anywhere at all, if you, oh, okay. You would just uh, draw a box, shift, shift, drag, draw a box, this there. Now, let me, let me do this. Let's do a look at another thing about this feature. I've been looking at charts just in a particular region. What you can, that means I'm doing from selection. So from selection. I turn off from selection, then I'm looking at all the NOAA charts that exist in the United States. And of that, there's a, apparently there's a 429, 4,029, 4, plus 166. Oh no, of these I have 167 installed, 63 are outdated, and one I've removed. And so that's the total number of charts in the US. Now, if you wanna load for just a given region, and it's always, if you're starting from scratch, it's best to load for your whole state, not to do piecemeal one, two, three charts. It's always best just to load them all. So if you want all the charts for California, you would just click that, and that's all the California charts right there. And you download them all at once. So you can download by state, or you could just, let me put here back and say all states, and then say all coast Coast Guard districts. And so here is the various Coast Guard districts. But the, right now, the program doesn't tell us what these districts mean. So we've made something here. If you go to, this is our charts, our sarpath.com slash get charts. That's our portal of all things related to charts. And if you go up to like 5A, chart groups and file counts, then this will show you where the Coast Guard districts are. In fact, there's probably a little map here. Yeah, there's a map of the districts. 
And so, but you can then choose like uh, this 13, that's us. That's a our very Pacific Northwest here. There is 149 of them. And when they're zipped, I'm going to download 44 uh, megabytes zipped. So that is a reminder. They always come down zipped. And so what QTVLM is doing in the background is downloading them zipped. That's why it's so fast. And then it's unzipping them and putting them in the right place and so forth. Um, so that's the way you can load different regions. And then here, then NOAA has these specific regions defined here. If you want all the east coast of Florida, the west coast, and so forth. So you can look at that in this document that we have here. The other thing to note here, let's go back to from selection. These are the ones now on any of these displays. If I highlight one of these charts and say remove, remove it. I have to maybe say it. Oh, no, click it. I got to highlight it here and say remove. Now, that is not just taking it out of this list. That's actually taking it out of the computer, right? So you see these are, this now is an installed chart and it's, it's the actual physical file is on the computer in the hard drive. But if I say yes, delete it, now that same chart will show up as not installed and it is physically not there anymore. Anyway, that's the system. It's really super slick and uh, it's also explained in, let's see if we have a link to this. Oh, we don't have a link to our cheat sheet, but we have a cheat sheet that explains the use of this program, and, uh, and these notes are all in there as well. So that's where I will stop.